All right, so folks, welcome. A nice evening stream for y'all. Just hanging out, you know? Cheers to y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Playing standard, we're trying version 4.0 of the Soul Ring deck. I know, Almond Hawker, I keep doing the same thing over and over again, but I, I just love this card. And we're trying about trying to add white, of course. Now, if you haven't seen this deck before, this is a deck based around Omen Hawker, activated abilities, and uh, most of it, we've been mono blue every time so far. And kind of working into like an artifact de aggro deck. Big cards here are Sword of Forge and Frontier. Uh, the Gadgeteer and Cryptic Coat are also awesome as well. And again, big one here is just, of course, Omen Hawker. Just finding a way to use the mana from this. Uh, one mana Soul Ring is pretty awesome. This time we're trying to add white and be a little more aggressive. So our last version of the deck was our most aggressive version yet and was the best version so far as a mono blue deck. Uh, trying to be aggressive. But obviously we got Warden of Inner Sky, Novice Inspector, both great cards for the deck as well. Uh, Royal Card gives us our removal spell. It's pretty sweet. As well as uh, the Reign of Truth, kind of a cool card also. It's trying to play uh, some white cards to go along with the blue cards and kind of give us a little bit of a, a one-two punch. And uh, Knight are in place here also. And again, Sword Still, one of the things. I know I said I wanted four swords in the last version. That version was mono blue and therefore needed more threats. I think with cards like Warden of Inner Sky in your deck, you're less reliant on the sword and don't want to draw too many of them. But we'll see. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We're going to find out. So, Soul Ring update. There you go. That's the deck. Let's get right to the games. Brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. Boom. Sleeves. There you go. Playing a Pro Tour. Those are my sleeves. That's my deck box. That's what I use. And I've been using their stuff now for seven years ridiculous amount of time check them out bcwsupplies.com promo code gym 10 10 off your order bcwsupplies.com binders card sorting trays storage inner sleeves outer sleeves you name it they got it bcwsupplies.com promo code gym 10 10 off your order bcwsupplies.com chat coming out man on arena yeah on the play oh my god <laughs> hand of the week there we go all right, so we're going to Mulligan, obviously. Uh, Mulligan into a not great hand. We're going to keep it. Let's ship planes. I mean, probably just tap land and into two things. This is fine, I guess. Not ideal, but damn shuffler. We've been discussing uh, the state of OP and stuff in, uh, on stream, so we're going to keep that conversation going, obviously. Raj says, reason why I don't go to FM anymore because the stores don't offer standard at all. When they were, no one went. Not even with the new Sword Championship stuff. The ones that offered it say it's standard, but they just make it draft instead because people don't go to standard anymore. Just give it up. Home plan arena. Only place I can play standard. That's an issue. Honestly, you know, I think that uh, consumer confidence, all-time low. And that's a, that's a real problem. So, it's Warden. Top card Siren. Keep that one on top. We got Grixis something here. Cut down. I'm just going to say go. And uh, we have a Knight Errant, which is great. So, going to do our thing. Still trying to Omen Hawk. What can I say? Can't help it. Gonna kill this too. They're gonna Carnage. What is this? This is probably like a Grace's Reanimator deck, I would think. So this is fine. Um, we still get to uh, Siren Errant. Let's drop the clue. Crack the clue. L-E-R-O-E. Sure. So land, Siren, Knight. I mean, for a Mulligan, we've had a pretty good draw. This is kind of fine for us. And, uh... Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. The old whiff, that's, that's probably the game there. I agree. Uh... Top six cards, no creatures, here's a shieldred, sure. I mean, if we had things to fight through, that'd be fine, probably, but we draw a gadget here. Uh, sure. This card's good, obviously not great here, so we can fire up the flying... Let's, 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 let's just start with just doing this. Try to get lucky at the map here. Please hit a, hit a spell. For many reasons. Hit a spell. Awesome. Let's keep it on top. Let's fire up the anchorage. And, uh... Alright, let's try to make some moves here, right? What am I gonna do? Attack. Trigger. Map. All right, let's say go. Standard is currently the best format in Magic. No hyperbole, by far the best format in Magic. And uh, it is phenomenal right now. The best has been in a decade, maybe longer. And I really can't stand the sort of like, I don't even know what to call it. Just like this notion that Standard is bad. Just like 
toxic, pervasive notion. Here's a land. They're playing Gear Drake also. It's kind of cool little brewski here. Fortunately, I think we're probably dead here. Mulligan mulliganing into whiffing on Knight is like probably a death sentence, but. All right, so attack for four. We're gonna take it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna tap and draw. I mean, I'm just gonna map. Try and do our thing here. We draw land. No, Inspector, ship that. All right, so we'll play Gadget here. Play Siren. Attack for two and just pray, basically. I worked down like a lot this game. We literally whiffed on the thingy. We didn't be mulliganed. I don't know to kill Shoulder just yet. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, well, I mean, kind of a joke of a game, honestly, as far as, like, things going wrong for us. That's fine, though. Whatever, it's fine. Let's go to game two. No problem. No problem at all. Alright, so... Players have been told for years standard is bad or I'm going to try it now. Absolutely. And that's the problem. Is that folks will say standard, they'll just parrot it back mindlessly. The standard's bad. The standard sucks. I always play that. Without ever, ever play, ever, ever played a game of it. So, Grixis mid-range stuff. Grixis command is obviously very good against us. Um, hmm. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Like... Or, uh, oh, I don't have any, I don't have any, any, makes, any, any destroyables on the board, so I'm a mistake. Um, do I want to change anything? I think Ranch Roots seems rough against them. A lot of kill spells and stuff. Maybe we want a Larsonist, and we want some Skrelves Hives, too. If they have a lot of removal spells, also. Cut, like. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it on the play. All right, on the play. God, come on. Can we just keep a hand here, please? Uh, we're going to mulligan again, unfortunately. Uh, mulligan into a playable hand. Uh, we're going to keep this. I mean, probably dump Siren. Just try and make it work on six again. It's fine. All right, drawing up planes is great. That's a huge hit. So let's play, 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 start engine. Pump it up. I'm just like, yeah. Pump the engine. Crypto coat next turn's great too. They have cut down. Maybe. Maybe yes. Maybe no. Fire it up. Cut down. Great. I think it's good for us. Even though we mulligan, I think it's actually pretty good for us. So. Let's untap and draw a Spyglass Siren. Let's just fire in the, uh, the Cryptic Coach. And... This is my true form. We got a Reign of Truth under there. We can use the Hawker to bounce the Coach, which is kind of cool. You have to do that, so you go. Gonna ride the Coat against the removal deck. That is the plan. Chrome Host Seed Shark. That is unexpected. Uh, sure. I bounce the coat now. I can't attack for three. It's not unblockable, obviously, but... That's pretty annoying, honestly. Um, I do have two things to play and a map. I'll just untap. Untap. We draw land, sure. What's Siren? Let's make mana and use mana to map here. Draw Odawara. I'm kind of in for that. Just jam it. Just bounce it. You play, you play your turn again. Just attack for three. Say go. I'm in. Love it. One card we're not playing is the Schooner. Could be a thing. But here's, here's Shieldred. Um... Which does tend to be good against decks like ours. Alright, so we're going to Spyglass Siren. I think Protocol is too hard to cast with non-blue lands. Uh, could play it, obviously, but we'll just go here. 
Siren, Bennett. Gonna play this. Draw a card immediately. Take damage, whatever. Draw an Novice Spectre, alright. Attack. Okay, they have Gixus Spam, which dead, but I mean, I don't know if we can beat all removal spells plus Shield plus Gixus Command, especially in the main deck, so. It's tough. You know, we... The mono blue version had main deck counter spells. This, this version does not. Which might be a necessity. Given the format. But... I'm not sure. Honestly. Still a brew. You know, it's funny how this is the fourth version of his deck. And we're still kind of like in the brew phases, you know? So, here's land five. They're just slow rolling. Kicks his command, obviously. So, why wouldn't they? Just a savage slow roll. Yep, just have the actual best possible card. Take an hour and a half to cast it. Just your average, uh, average experience playing Magic, you know? Let's draw a Crypto Coach. Sure. I think we're just dead here. Um, we need to draw probably the uh, Removal Spell. So that, was like a, that was like a 9 for 1, obviously, so we're just dead. Uh, we draw a Warden. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. I mean, tough match, obviously. Like, we mulligan both games in a kind of poor hands. They had the stones every game. Uh, what are you going to do? It just happens. It is what it is. GG. All right, on the play. Ugh. His hands are killer. We're going to keep this one, I think, but it's not great. All right, let's fire up the inspector. One shot, white source. Make a clue. Draw anchorage. All right. This is fine, honestly. Tie for one, say go. We can fire in the sword or a larcenist. Here comes the dread knight. I. It's fine. We get larcenist the the dread knight and the clue, and we draw a lamb. We can fire up the sword and sword immediately. Ward one's pretty sweet. I'm kind of in actually. Let's just do that. So, one weird, weird thing about this card is you can target your own stuff, too. So, you can do this. So, now we have a treasure instead of a clue. And now we draw a lamb. We can go sword equip attack, which is kind of gas. So. And if they sack this, awesome. We killed it. They're going to anoint with affliction on my Larcenist. Sure. So, time walk. It's their entire turn. We want to draw a land here pretty bad. We did not. Uh, just going to do it again, I guess. Here and here. Sorry for one. Say go. Not using this just yet. Hopefully draw a land for sword. I love a sword. Sword's awesome in this deck. Should do it again. Sentinel of the Nameless City. That's good. Mapping. The sword, the new set. I don't know what it does. I can't keep track of spoilers. They they spoiled like 90 cards in like four different sets. Like a week ago. I can't keep track of it anymore. Just too much. Here's our sword. We're doing it. Put the sword on the flyer and let's get let's get busy here. Sword up. Attack for four. Trigger top two. Find a land, maybe. We find a land. Cool. We just jam. Stavis thing has ward one, pro red, pro green. They can kill it, but it costs a lot. They got a bat in their hand, whatever. The important thing is the uh, the sword in play. So, what's up, Agent Orange? Happy to meet you, happy to meet you too, my friend. This is version four of our Soul Ring deck. We're actually 0-1. Oh, I don't know why the button didn't work. Perpetual hype. Machine rolls on. Go for the throat on Novice Inspector. I have to play Asher. That's fair. That makes sense. This is my uh, that's bad for us, uh, if I'm being honest. Get back to their thing, attack for seven. That's scary. All right. Um, we get to go Siren plus Knight. I could also just play the Siren and equip it. It does have pro green, so it could block this thing forever. But 
think I could also just fire up the Anchorage, right? Just kill Oliana. That's kind of tough, though. I took a lot of damage, so. I think it's just uh, Siren Knight, and then just hope we don't have another go for the throat. Awesome. Uh, let me get a Warden and an Inspector. Play land. Say go. No go over the throat, please. Could fire up their cottage also. It's really annoying that we can't uh, sword the Siren and attack this. Oh my god. Card quality is so high. Pretty good run out for them, honestly. Uh, able to cast all of her spells. They're all good creatures. This is on top. Liliana. I think we're probably dead here, honestly. Yeah, I think we're dead. Just like a little too much good stuff here, honestly. We're going to six, drawing a land. I mean... Put the sword on, they might just block. And I kind of like have to attack Liliana. I guess I don't actually, but. Alright, let's attack them. Fire up a sword. We'll just get lucky. I don't even know what we can do really here. We're just gonna do something. I think we're just super dead. We're just dead at the board, honestly. Alright, so there's that. Trigger this. Top two is a Gadgeteer and a land. Okay. Uh, we get a Gadgeteer, Warden. And then equip for one off the Gadgeteer. It's kind of cool. Let's put this onto the Warden. And then probably sack Gadgeteer to the Liliana. They edict us. Or sack this thing, actually. So, 3-3 three, three and a 3-4. Yeah, that works. So, Tap one, two, three. Can't do that. All right, sure. So we're trying. I mean, a lot of things have gone wrong this game, but we can do this too. Land. Tilt. All right, so you go. We have a chump and a pro green eat. They have Archfiend too, though. I think we're just dead. Trying to be the first person to ever successfully block a Glissa Sunslayer and live to tell the tale. There's Archfiend of the Dross. It's bad. We dead. If they spike a, a map head, I think we're dead. Sack this. Go to four. Map onto the bat. And we die. And they and they hit a hit, hit a uh, a spell. Okay. Kill Glissa. That's cool, I guess. But we can't get through the, the Archfiend anyway, so. These black decks are tough. They do, uh, they kill a lot of stuff. Get a, this thing, draw a card, fire up a map. I think we're just too far behind here. Obviously, Mulligan was game right now was pretty bad, so. It would be nice to keep seven against these black decks. There's like one for winning us to death, you know, but whatever. Draw land. We draw another land also. All right, you got me, whatever. Thousand lands, it's fine. Go to game two. Cyborg has got... Hmm. Ranger seems awful in this deck. Uh, um, just, you know, still full disclosure. Still a Peru, still working on it, obviously. Let's cut these. And a Larcenist. Um, I mean... Tidebinder seems kind of eh. Hive seems kind of cool. Surge Engine Skrell. Does Skrell even good in this deck? I don't know, honestly. Sure. Let's bring in one Hive and try that. This deck is less focused on the Soul Ring aspect, so Enigma Drool just seems kind of eh. Alright, I get to keep seven here. It's fun. We're keeping seven cards, folks, if you can believe it. Inconceivable! Remember, folks, if you haven't followed, share that follow button, of course, if you're watching on YouTube. Take a second. Like the video, support the content. If you like what I do, if you enjoy watching me, just hit buttons, support things, appreciate it. If you don't like me, don't. That's fine too, I guess, whatever, you know, but live your life. 
All right, so we get this scroll. This is pretty good draw, actually. We got the hive and a coach. All right, tie for one. Say go. Next turn is Crypto Coat. Cut down. In his prime. Sorry, Warden. Make a token. And we could just sword here. And, like, threaten to start sorting immediately. But I think coating is better. It's playing sword all one shot's fine. So, play coat. Cloak. The cloak. Get the cloak. It's a Warden. That's not bad. There's a possible flip for us. Here's a Glissa Sun Slayer. It's a really good card. We draw a Larcenist. Awesome. So we go land. Larcenist. I don't want to turn any of my things into treasures. Maybe I do actually. Turn the uh, the might. That way I can I can sword guaranteed next turn. I like that actually. Hit their thing. And then we're going to flip this. And tap three things. Might as, well, might as well attack first, right? Because then they, 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 can, they can fatal push it. I mean, I mean, cut down it. So attack with this. And then post combat, we're going to flip it. Think about it. Mask man taking off his mask. One, two, three. Top card is Novice Inspector. That's fine. We can keep that. So go. We have Sword Equip Attack next turn. Archfiend of the Draw. So our. Warden is still unblockable. Just gas. Just do it. I'm in. Let's tap the... Oh, no, I can't do that. This is a treasure, right? Yep, gotta tap that. So let's go put this here. Pay two. And then we're going to tap the things that can't attack anyway. Odawara stays on... Oh, this is going to be hit by the... Sword anyway. I'm going to bottom this. Trying to white source. And... Oops. I can tap the sword. If I draw a land, a white land, that's pretty sick. So hit this thing. Revealing Island and Omen Hawker. That works for me. Island, Omen Hawker. And one, two, three. This game's going a lot better than our, our last few games, right? And uh, we got a 7 7 pro green unblockable. Can also die to a go for the throat, but like, our hand's still pretty good. Hell yeah, all right. Game. That was sweet. Blouse. More of that, please. And uh, we'll just stand pat, I think. Sure. All right. Now we're on the draw. It's a little harder, obviously, but... <sighs> yeah, we're going to keep. I can't mulligan his hand. It's not great, but... Probably going to Anchorage. They're going to play a Mishra's Foundry turn one. Interesting. We've drawn a Seeker Home Coast, so now we could go Inspector into Engine into Gadgeteer. Yeah, I guess. We'll see what we do, but... Alright, so there you go. And they have Swamp Deep Cavern Bat. Annoying. We don't really have a lot of ways to uh, remove the bat. Take the Surge Engine, we draw a Sword. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, now we have Gadget here on three and Sword Equip on four, which is pretty great also, so. What's up, McIntyre? Night Shift Jam, here I am. It's pretty gross. Okay, they choose to take my creature and not my sword. That's a bad sign. Alright, yeah, I mean... We're just going to cast Sword here. It's probably not going to work out for us, but whatever. Play Sword, so go. You usually want to play this card and equip it the same turn if you can, which obviously Omen Hawker is big on. Here's a Sentinel. Oh, wow. We're actually going to get in here. That's crazy. All right, sure. Equip attack. Two cards. We see an Attacar Waste and another Sword. Love it, actually. Alright, let's go land, land, sword. We're a little on the all inside, uh -huh, but let's see how they want to play it. Obviously, we don't have to uh, go all in if we don't want to. Dual wielding possibility here. Archfiend 
of the dross. That is insane for us. All right, well, we are just going to do the... Th oh, I can't do the thing. We're a mana short. I can't Odawara and equip. Oh, that sucks. All right. Um, that sucks. I thought I could, I thought I could go Odawara, bounce this, and then put a second sword on attack. All right, whatever. This is fine. All right, so we'll just do this. Bounce this. Attack with the Inspector. I think we're losing the race here, though. Find Plains and Dusk Rose Reliquary, but I can't obviously play that later. I gotta play it now. Alright, play Plains. Play the Reliquary. We'll sack the clue. Eat the Sentinel. Still no answer to the, uh, the Archfiend, unfortunately, but play this. Investigate. Play this. Say go. Our 5-6 Novice Inspector is just not big enough. Here's Archfiend of the Dross. You draw Warden of the Inner Sky. Alright, so... We can Warden and, like, pump it up real huge here. Obviously, we can't beat a removal spell, though, which kind of sucks. Uh, we're taking 8 next turn, and we just died in a removal spell also, so we're just like, in really bad shape regardless, but... Um, 3-6... Yeah, I can't even pump it up to a flyer or two. Oh, man. This sucks. Uh, I guess Anchorage can block, too. But, all right, play this thing. Play Engine. Start pumping. One, two, three. Knock cards land. Bin it. I mean, I just have no good attacks. I can Anchorage chump block, which is pretty good. So, I'm just going to hope for that, I think. Guard land, bottom it. Yeah, I mean, alright, we'll just say go, I guess. So, we need to use Anchorage to block the Archfiend. And then just try and stay alive. We can untap, put swords in the Surge Engine. They can't, uh, can't go over there. They could, could cut down it, but I couldn't afford to move a sword over, I don't think, so. Here comes the all right, so here comes the Archfiend. If the bats are staying home, that's a good sign. It means they probably have a kill spell here, which is good for us. So let's take two. All right. What else you got, friend? We're at eight life. No trample here. Tap three. We're in game three. You can't see cars. Karn's in the way. Right, Karn? Sleeping Karn. Oh. That's really, really rude. Alright, so... We draw Cryptic Goat. What did they kill? Did they kill the engine? That's weird. So I can double sword the warden and attack this turn too? Alright, so let's tap sword, sword, reliquary. Siren. Uh, keep that on top. Put sword here. I guess I just chump lock it, right? So I might even get a double, double sword, I guess. Um, again, they have a kill spell or dead, but like they didn't have it last turn, so I think this is fine. I'm just gonna attack with the the warden. If I double equip, they'll definitely. Um, I can do this actually too. Let's play. Let's do this actually. Let's do this. Try this. Attack like this. Guarantee some triggers. They're gonna let all of it through. Inconceivable. All right, double sword triggers. Revealing two Sirens, a Land, and an Omen Hawker. Um, if they have to get Gixxus Command, I'm going to be so sad. Alright, so we're going to go... One drop, one drop, one drop, equip. We're pretty all out of this Warden, I'm not going to lie, but... Put this on a Siren... Gadgeteers our top card with a coat and play? Sure. 
All right. I mean, say a prayer, folks. They're down to two oil counters. I'm at six life. I'm not really gaining life anytime soon, unfortunately. Uh, they have four cards in their hand, too. Like, what is going on? What, what the ball could even be in their hand, you know? Like... There's a shield rid. That's bad. Okay. Uh I mean We know we're drawing gas. The problem is that I can't draw a card to kill shield rid too. God damn it. Probably need more kill spells in our deck, honestly. Alright. I mean they just chump block the warden and then we just we just die. That sucks. Um, I can't even draw cards either. That's a huge bummer. I think we lost this this game in deck building. Honestly, we just don't have kill spells in our deck. Um, all right. I mean, they're just gonna block with a with a bat anyway. Just attack with this. We have all this mana, all these cool cards, but. If we could somehow survive to the Archfiend killing them, that'd be sweet, but... I'm gonna eat this. If we get back our engine, but we're just gonna die to, to Archfiend and Shieldred. So... Let's just pump this. Okay, so... How about if we, lar if we, if we draw the Larcenist off of the a clue? And then they just attack with this thing in row 2, we just... Actually, we don't die, actually. We don't have chump block. So, maybe we're actually okay here. I can just draw the Larcenist. I cast it. I go to two. Get rid of Shieldred. This thing is on two oil counters. It has no good attacks. All of my blocks survive. Um, That is not true, because the bat can come in. We can't code it because it, it needs to ETB, so... Alright. You. Oh, something I control. Don't mana for an external mix, so submit zero. Hit this. Um, and then... I mean, gadget here. I think I want the engine, actually. Oh, maps tap! God! Oh, I hate the templating. Clues don't tap to, to use what maps do. I should just tap the swords, obviously. Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to the stream! Alright, so... We need... Crap. Because none of our things can die. If they just swing out... Uh, this blocks this, this blocks this, but and this can't die. I guess I can put the sword on the siren, right? So surge engine. You grow the warden again. One, two. This ain't blocking, so three. Bottom that. Move the sword over to the siren. This is going to be a 7-7? Seven, seven? Is it bigger? 1. Two, eight, 8 again, Joe. These their map hits. We're going to trade. Oh, Larson's blocks the bat. I just screwed up. I punted. It's just... The rope's going. There's too many things in play. I just screwed up. I just didn't realize the Larson was there also. Because I thought I had to, to pants up a bat, uh, siren to block the bat. Uh, now we're in big trouble. Is it 8-9, but... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean... We obviously just died of a shield or whatever, too. But... So now... As long as we can survive a turn... We win next turn, right? Because the Archfiend kills them. Yeah, she'll have Sword here, I think. But, whatever. Here's a monster that I draw a car. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. So you're telling me there's a chance. I don't think I've ever had an Archfiend of a Dross kill before.
Oh, I guess I just tag with it, right? It just dies in combat. That's fair, sure. That's you're right. I got excited, but here's the the bat god, the deepest betrayal. Sure. So eat this thing. And now I mean like we just have engine to to kill them, right? Or almost kill them. Put both swords on engine. Attack, get double triggers. Cast a bunch of stuff. Uh, we need to have a flyer that can block the this thing safely, which we can we can definitely do with the warden too. So, um, sub John A. Uh, so it's Omen Hawker. Activate this. Put a sword on the hawker. They have a fiend in hand, so we, our blocks need to be good. Um, just play that. Um, this is pretty bad sequencing, but whatever. Top card's a larcenist. Awesome. Um, I can't jump with a uh, an archer and I die. So, um. So now, they're effectively at 14. Uh, we're talking about the Warden and the Surge Engine. A bunch of triggers. I want another counter on this Warden. All right. Mm. So I want it to be lethal, obviously, so. Oops. Attack with this and this. Warden's so good. Block the Warden. Take seven. I can now pump it to a five four. And there's dead right. So we have two four. So it's only it's only it's only nine. Shit. I should have put. I should have mapped on abyss. I screwed up. I punted. Uh. Okay. Oh whoops. Whoopsie. I think now we just don't bother because we want to just draw a bunch of cards. So this is fine. So let this happen. Um. They go to three. Miss lethal. Fire up chat. Go nuts. We hit Kite Sail, Knight Errant, Land, Aganjo. So land, land. Uh, Larcenist on the Bat God. Don't want my own mana. We have five, Gadgeteer, Cryptic Coat. They're obviously just dead. So, oh my god. Um... There's so much stuff in play. Uh, I want a 4-4 four, four blocker. I have the Warden. Drawing cards is cool. I guess if I kill the Larcenist, it's kind of an issue, but let's have the Larcenist. Siren. Siren. Two. Find another Larcenist. And a Skrell. Okay. Uh, we're going to play Skrell. And... I mean, I, I think we're good here. Like... Move a sword over, maybe? Let's say go. I mean, obviously, it's Rush Shield Ridge dead, which would suck, by the way. But. Or a kill spell. Alright, that's a bat. That's a great sign. I think we got him, folks. I think we're. I think we did it. Did we do it? We win this game somehow? Obviously, it's my fault. We should have won this game. Uh, because I, if I had properly mapped the engine, they would, they would have just died. It was my fault. So this, we should have won this game. It, that one's on me. Uh, obviously, they got lucky. But the thing is that a lot of Magic players in a spot 
would just walk away from this game going, God, they got so lucky. And not even consider the fact they screwed up. So we screwed up. We lost. It's our fault. GG. Happens. Stinks, but it happens. Very sad. Very, very sad. We're playing against Magic Online. <laughs> the, the literal platform itself. Even Magic Online plays Magic Arena. <laughs> the joke is because playing Magic Online is so miserable, so... Alright, so, um... We got a one-liner. We're gonna mulligan. I guess. But not Moto, I know, right? Put in mulligans... And we have turn one Hawker, turn two Siren Map on the draw. Keep Mulligan. What do you think, chat? How frisky are we feeling? We have two draw steps. Obviously, Hawker can crack the map, which is cool, so you can do it all one turn. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Let's go. She draw literally any land. Big keeps. Big keeps. Tilt keep also. That's true. A little, little tilt keep equity. Back on my Omen Hawker nonsense. What's up, Irish Prophet? First time chatter. Manfield time, no doubt. Seth keeps everything, so. In the testing house, we know uh, a keep is loose if uh, even Seth mulligans it, so. <laughs> Iron Wolf with the raid. Good game, my friend. Good game. We punted against you. We had the kill. We just, we just missed it. I missed a map. All right, so we're going to go Omen Hawker go. They have Mountain off of the thingy. They're playing with the combo lands, so. The blue is interesting. I mean, the blue whites, the blue whites, the white's interesting to, to, for the Soul Ring deck. Kind of a cool addition for sure. Come on, Omen Hawker. So we have a land, we, have a, we have a draw for a land, and then we have an Omen uh, a map for a land. So we got two looks at it. They're gonna analyst. They're playing Go for the Throat. We missed on a land. Crap. Let's play Siren. Here we go, folks. This is our last chance. No! That's three non-lands in a row. All right, we're in trouble. We did Iron Wolf. Good game, my friend. That's it. We're in trouble. No two ways about it. Go for the throat. Definitely interesting seeing this, like, Aftermath Analyst archetype evolve. A lot of different versions right now. World Souls for one. What's up, Killa? Alright, so, uh... They got... Oh, no. Man. Alright, well, I mean... You know, I mean, take a risky keep. Draw five nine lands in a row. It's what it is, kind of thing. Uh, sacrifice an artifact or creature. This is going to go off next turn and get... It's only two lands back. We should have no chance to win them. So I'm just going to go next game. Not going to show them anywhere on my awesome deck. We'll see the next game. That's fun. Uh, so they're playing the lands deck. One of these tide binders. Uh, probably some strokes also. I'd say we don't want the larcenists. And I would say that... The beats are important. Um... Probably spell pierce too, right? Cut the night errants and cryptic coach shave shave screlve too. Try something like this. On the play. Oh, I love the swords. Okay, keep working up all again. That's a much better end. Oh yeah. All right, keep this. Uh, this is just a pure beat down end. I'm just gonna get rid of gadget here and go nuts. I think. It's like Warden, double uh, double token maker, pump it up, and just kind of ride the ride the wave. I think. All right, Warden, do your thing, bud. Obscura storefront. Right, get a swamp. I mean, we're just all in. Like, 100% all in, so. Pump it. Top card is a Cryptic Coach with no third land. Ship that. Tie for two, so you go.
That's fine. I got more of those. No problem. Got you. Got you. Just put cardboard in play. Rectangle theory, yada, yada, yada. Scry. I think I want to bottom this. Try and find a counter spell or something like that. Go again. This time we got a land. Ship that. In for one. Let's go. I mean, we get to untap here and draw a counter spell. I feel really good about this game, even though we mulligan in our hand's been... It's a pretty good hand for six, I guess. Can't complain, so... Go for the throat. Swamp, Swamp Island. Man. What a, uh... What a pile of lands I got there. Um... We just want to draw a counter spell really bad. Um... <laughs> If I tap the maps, I can't map, obviously. I do have Spell Pierce in my deck, too. Whatever. Just do this. Bottom. Can clue for Spell Pierce. Um, they go land Erratic Explosion, which is pretty dead, but... Our stuff's big, I don't know. I'm gonna just go again. I miss out on up, on on uh, up two points here, but like warden ship it. All right, I mean, here's land attack for five. All right, and now do we leave up clue, or do we cast surge engine? Let's leave up the clue up and just say go. I think drawing card is huge. We should find a an interactive spell of some kind. At all four wardens? Uh, yes, it is. Here's a green. Not really working their engine super hard here, honestly. Okay. Now, this is good, obviously. Milling over only one land, which is great. So only like two lands in the bin. Three swamps is a lot. All right, so draw, draw a clue. Oh, they're playing a lot of cards. Like, a ton. These decks sometimes go over 60 cards, but, like, 68 cards. But they're playing, like, a, like a thousand cards. Like, <laughs> all right, I guess. Um, we got a stroke, which is obviously awesome. So, we're just in, like, all the way here, I think. Uh, engine. Just tap. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean, just like a two-turn Glock, so. It's exactly 100 cards, so, I mean, we're all in. Play Engine, say go. We have Stroke. We have Lethal two different ways. Let it ride, you know? So big. Huge. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. They get 84 cards in deck. All right, that was fairly uneventful. Let's try it again. So game three, same sort of a uh, look for us, I think. Yep, works for me. There you go. This week's schedule. And uh, we see Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Again, keeping it a little light for the next few weeks. Um, I want to really get a lot of back-end stuff done. Uh, Pro Tour's in six weeks. You know, I'll have to do until then. So um, try and get some stuff done, you know. Like, set some streams to do. Bronson Bidding's going to finish up this week, hopefully. And we're going to keep on rocking and rolling. Go Captain Jimmy. Captain, J Captain Jimmy is great. I agree. Captain Janeway might be my, I don't know, like second favorite captain after Picard. I'm not sure, though. Um, see, that's great. and keep this. It's a little awkward because we don't have, like, stuff to do with the Wardens, but we have a Spell Pierce and a Hawker, which is great, too, so. Picard's one. Yeah, you, Picard is undisputed one. Uh, for, I don't think it's, I mean, anyone in chat or on YouTube comments want to uh, dispute Jean-Luc Picard as the number one captain in Star Trek history? Fire away. Captain Morgan. I, I, I just finished my Captain Morgan. I, you know, Captain, Captain's great too, but... Cisco's a captain. You watched Deep Space Nine. He was, he was made a captain halfway through, right? So we have Hawker plus Warden on two. I haven't seen Picard, so... You like Captain Archer? No! It's been a long time. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't the theme song, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm shallow, but... 
You don't have a ship? Captain's a rank, not like a, a thing, you know? Kirk is the best captain until you see the other captains. That's, that's fair. That's a fair assessment. He's also not, he's on the Defiant too, right? I don't have a day job anymore now. I haven't had a day job for seven years. This is my day job. You're looking at it. This is it. Look. This is my day job. Hi. Thanks to you fine folks. Aww. I'm pretty damn lucky to do what I do. I'm not going to lie. It is a shitload of work. I work a lot. Uh, but I'm very lucky. Path of Peril. Didn't see that coming. All right. So we got Engine and Warden. Second path and we're dead. But... Cisco from In the Pale Moonlight. Which episode was that? I don't know my name. Yeah, the admirals. Yeah, me and Nicole have a running joke that like the admirals are just always like the worst jerks ever. All right, this is ridiculous. So double sweeper. Um, they're still they're at twenty two life. They died seven years ago. Uh, seven years ago, I taught part. I taught part time. I just finished college and stuff. I was considering getting my masters. Uh, very very happy. I'm not teaching the year I thought the year I taught sixth grade. I did not enjoy. Uh, so, it's pretty private school, but... Alright, Merrick's time, I guess. I mean, they have no other colors. They just have all blue in, in this, so... We have a Ganjo. We only have one blue, which kind of blows, actually, but... Yeah, sixth grade, I taught writing and podcasting in a private school. It's not, not very fun. I didn't enjoy it. I have a degree in English and writing from Stony Brook University. Go see wolves. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to spell pierce this. This is a good spot to spell pierce, I think. Their hand's kind of crappy, so just, like, knock this thing off. Yeah, podcast. It's a private school. It's like a, like a elective thing, kind of. So, it's like a part-time teacher. Private school, sixth graders. No good. Swamp, 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 island, island, island. One of the downsides of these, uh, these, uh, Sackland... Aftermath Analyst decks is that they are awkward playing all basics. So, next live tournament, uh, Pro Tour Shadows in six months, six weeks, I mean, so probably that. All right, so, I mean, I'm just gonna ride the Might Train here. It's gonna be Mirks. Mirks of time, I think. They have a land they can flash back Deluge, but. I mean, they had literally double sweeper against me, which is pretty good, but not much else going on here. Here's a Jace, the Perfected Mind. I don't know if I care about this. I don't think I do. The Mites just kill it in like, in like two or three turns. That obviously buys them time. But like, I don't think I care. So sure. That's fine. Only have one counter spell. Gotta hold on to it real tight. Also countering means no, uh, means no Mirror's token. So shrink, sure. Gilly Resub, thanks so much. You can be made. Month number two, most important month. Alright, so... I guess, like, it's kind of hard to kill this thing, but... My Gadgeteer, I can't Mirix, but still better, I think. So play this, say go. They shrink Gadgeteer, I attack this for three, I kill it in two turns. That's also a thing, I guess. Sure. <laughs> Could have played the second Aganjo, like left Murex untapped and played second Aganjo as like a Lotus Petal and just like had Murex up also, but... Is there a special Discord here? Yes. So, if you're new here, Corporate Shill, I'm happy to have you, my friend. Welcome. Pile Drivers is the name of my... Is the name, oh, man. They found the yeah, yeah, analyst. It's crazy bad. Uh, Pile Drivers are my subs. Five bucks a month. Best way to support me. There's so many things you get being a sub. Uh, access to the Discord, best community ever. We do community events every month. Poker night, Commander night. We do product pre pre-releases. Uh, fantasy football, fantasy hockey. All free to play, all prizes. Holiday cards every year with signed tokens. Just a bunch of stuff. And uh, love to have you. Alright, so I guess a Ganjo is good here. They probably won't block unless they're a Psycho, but... Yeah, double double sleeper here is pretty rough. I mean, I hope they block, but wow, they just gave it to us. Just gave it to us. So you get, nothing. You get out of here. Good day, sir. Now I can't sack it. They had they only had three lands in the bin, but still a pretty big jump. So 
Take with Jace again and say go, but still have stroke up. With the Ganjo and play the block's reasonable, but like, why else would I attack? You know, it's like a pretty wild attack, I think, but. Probably have to stroke the Deluge. Yeah, they have nothing left, so sure. From Alberta, Canada, hockey fan? Company I work for has season tickets in a box for the Oilers. You're not a hockey fan? We gotta change that, my friend. We gotta change that. You have one of the best magic player the magic players. One of the best hockey players to literally every ever play the game in your city. Alright? You should go watch him play. Connor McDavid. Playing standard. Alright, so we're going to do this. They deluge, I stroke. Have second stroke and Murex. What do we think? Does Connor McDavid play magic? Keep Mulligan. Punt dead by poison? Maybe they would, honestly. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm, I obviously light total wise, it's irrelevant, but maybe you're right. Nicole's right. Not a fun thing to say, but we've dealt two, four, six. Yeah, probably did. Atraxa. Get off my plane. Get out of here. All right, so I mean, now I'm still gonna kill it, but. All right, so we got, this is five. Our lightning fans welcome. Yeah, I guess. I have Anthony Declare on my fantasy team, so. All right, so I'm a Rangers fan. Hardcore Rangers fan, so. I love all hockey though. Play fantasy hockey. This puts them to five. They're not dead next turn to the uh, the mites. That being said, like, do I want to play with Surge Engine? I don't think I do. Um, I'm just going to say go. Eh, let's play it. Whatever, sure. Like, it's a chance we just, we, just, we just, like, pop it and draw three cards, too, so. Alright, I mean. We got a raid. Akibatsu, what's up? Appreciate it. Tense game, folks. I do think that Nicole is correct. We could just kill him with poison for sure. Aftermath analyst. They have an analyst, but still can't activate it because of the uh, lack of green. Thanks, Akimatsu. Appreciate it. All right, mill three. I mean, the activation is gross, unfortunately. They have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they have eight lands in the graveyard, and a bunch of them gain life too, which is really bad for us, but. Alright, activate this. Activate this. Rising reset, thanks so much. They're at five. They're dead in two turns. How do they win? They like fireball you or something, or like loop Jace or whatever, it depends, but. Um, definitely want to leave mana up for Murex. That is like a big deal, uh, because we're gonna poison kill them next turn. So, yeah. I mean, like, just gonna go. Should attack. I should attack first. Whatever doesn't matter, but. There are various versions of his deck. Some play Fireballs, some play Jace Loop, some play this and that. So they block a thingy, they go to eight poison. And I hope they can do whatever it is that they do. 100 card version might do all of them, that's true. These decks sometimes play more than 60 cards uh, because you only have so much room for sack lands and basics in your deck. So it can get kind of awkward. Uh, so playing more cards kind of mitigates that. But the more cards you play, let's draw animals, which is the best card in the deck. So, all right, apparently they're dead. So, cool. We'll take the win. So it should, should have been 2-1 there. I just straight punted a game. Uh, had, the, had, had the win on board, didn't do it. Um, but deck's kind of cool. We're working here. We're cooking. Hop over to untap.gg once again. Again, down for yourself, untap.gg. Track all your games just like this. In-depth stats, free to download. 
free track all your games like this and uh went one and two hasn't reloaded yet unfortunately there you go one and two and uh definitely obviously adding white adds a lot more good cards to the deck uh you know we were mono blue previously this is our fourth version of an omen hawker deck all prior versions are on youtube go watch them definitely worth to watch really really cool and um i think miki chose is terrible i think we need more removal spells um not sure on the numbers in like Surge Engine, Cryptic Coat, and the Gadgeteer. Uh, now that we're adding all these white cards that make artifacts, a lot of them aren't artifacts. So the Gadgeteer is a little worse. Uh, that being said, though, reducing, reducing the equip, equip cost and the clue cost is pretty awesome. Might want more Reliquaries. This card's pretty good in this deck. Um, but yeah, cool things happening here. Love the sword. I don't know. I'm just. I just think Omen Hawker's neat. All right. What can I? What can I say? You know. I just. I just think. I just think he's neat. So. Uh, that's it, Nick. You two folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. You're all great. Peace.